<laughs> Paul, thanks for joining us and it's a much needed win and two spectacular goals to win it. Yeah, um, I think it was great to see two goals of that quality. I said I thought that he almost, when Jordans went in, I felt like it weren't quite as appreciated as much because of perhaps the first goal that we'd, we'd all witnessed. But, you know, that you can't rely on those goals all the time. That said, you know, I think they are two players that have got quality uh, in the feet, in the boots, and Jordan is very similar to the one that it, the sort of framework against Halifax. Um, so, I was really pleased with, with the, obviously with the win, we've, as you said, we, we were all craving that. Um, and I think we've got to try still and be more ruthless. I thought we were a little bit unlucky. I thought there was a, a blatant handball towards the end of the first half from a corner. Luke's had an header save that you have to give the keeper credit because he saved it, but I'm not sure he knew too much about it. We had one cleared off the line. And we still, I don't think the keeper's been overworked, so I'm not going to stand here and say that. But we do get in the cells in so many good positions that we have to make more of. Because they are, they're not like opportunities that we'll say a shot on target, but they're certainly good situations. And I think we have got players that are, are capable, as the two goals highlighted. Um, but I think it was a, you know, it was a deserved result, that, that's for sure. The first half was quite a frustrating one. It looked like Altrincham had set the stall out to, to take their time with everything and, and goal kicks and that. And was it quite a frustrating one for you to watch from the sideline? Uh, at times, uh, you know, I thought we, we started a little bit edgy. We got a couple of new players in the team as well. They're finding the feet. We didn't do much training at all, I'll be honest, in, in terms of ahead of the game. The players were in, but we had four or five lads that were really feeling the game from Tuesday night still. And again, I think that's from having the break play the games, that's fine, but then the recovery afterwards is is hard for some of them. Uh, some of them played a lot, some of them are, are probably wrong side of 30 and maybe take a little bit of time to recover. So it was a bit, but I've got no, again, no criticism of all trigger. That I'm not expecting them to come and, and, you know, quickly get on with the game. I think that has to be placed at the officials. It's absolutely ridiculous. One minute goes up. I've been told that, and without even saying anything, the four officials tell me it's been managed, time's been added on, and then we get one minute. The keeper had been down twice. We had another player down on the pitch, and I, I just don't get it. I, I try and be. And I said it. I went. I stood at the end uh, of the tunnel inside and asked the question. And it's oh, you can't speak to me. You can't do this. And all you ever get is, you can always speak to us. Uh, it's pointless. I've said I think you've got to, it makes you feel like you've got to act like an idiot on the sideline to be heard. And I try and stand and be polite, and respectful. And it makes you question your own actions. And I don't want to go down the route of being, you know, throwing your arms everywhere and in people's faces and calling them ex, you know, certain names. So that, that added to the frustration. But I don't think, you know, we can't really do anything about that. And like I said, I, I certainly don't blame Altringham. They're not going to, you know, they're in a difficult spell themselves. They've come away from home. They're not going to be in a rush to, to get away again. As you mentioned, two of the three new signings started today, all three in the squad, Burgess on the bench, and I thought the two full-backs making a day was excellent. They do, you know, I think you give them a lot of credit um, for coming in the way that they have, getting on with it, and they're playing in a position that's not his, his favoured, but has done that you know, with that conversation prior to, uh, to the game, obviously. Um, I thought he was he had a, a terrible habit of passing the ball to one of our teammates. But first half, I was like, well, he's not going to fit in. <laughs> he, he, I just thought he equipped himself very well, and Danny similar, because I think they're wide players, are big threats on the day. Um, so they did, they did excellent, fitted in well. Scott came on just at the end. You know, we were kind of waiting for, for his registration. We weren't sure if he was going to be able to be involved. All right, he didn't get too many minutes, but the squad was really stretched today. I think I'd shown Scannell out of it. You know, other than that, that was us. So, um, obviously get a couple back from suspension. Um, and we'll continue to work in terms of looking to bring more bodies into the squad. No crooks today in the, in the squad yeah. at all. What was the issue there? He's feeling his groin. Um, I don't think it's anything 
too serious, but he's he has felt his groin on a couple of occasions. More we think like down the route of sort of tendonitis rather than uh, actual muscular, which isn't ideal, but he's probably better. Um, I think he felt it on Tuesday night, uh, so I think that uh, Danny was on the cards anyway, but certainly was good timing in coming into it. Um, and like I said, we want to get a squad where there is that competition, uh, and at the minute, I would say it's probably not quite there, but getting a couple of bodies back will help and hopefully bring in a couple more players in as well. And the second half started like a house on fire with that goal from McAtee. I mean, what a sweet strike that was to start the second half and, and really that you could feel the pressure lift in the foreground. Yeah, it was. I mean, I thought we had some good spells like in situations first half and finished on the front foot. Um, but did feel like we could even, you know, be more aggressive. And we certainly start all the players started that way the second half. And very quickly got, you know, it's nice when you get a goal so early because I think we'd had maybe a chance and then thinking, is it going to happen for you? Um, so to get that early goal, then I'm on the side and I think just because of, of the way things have been going, you just think, you know, we could do with that second goal just to sort of calm everyone down help them relax um, but as I say I don't think Max has had too much to do today at all um, look relatively solid and and on another day perhaps could have won by a bigger margin but we'll, we'll certainly take 2-0 a clean sheet and, and as we, we kind of I guess started with uh, a much needed three point and you mentioned about incomings as well what kind of positions are these for I can't tell you that. Um, that. Look, we all know one position that everyone's um, wants us to bring in. You know, we, uh, we brought two defenders in and a midfield player. Um, not doing that on purpose. Could be tempting, but it's not. It's just what's you know available and what's right. But we continue to work in. I think we've seen today we've got good attacking options already at the football club would like to add to that uh, because sometimes people get injured. I'm not sure that on Rico will have to check him. He felt his hamstring. I'm hoping we got it before he has done anything to it, but he definitely felt it. That's the reason he came off. And again, you see John starting to tire a little bit towards the end. But Jordan found a second wind at one point. Um, so we need to get those fitter and obviously Ryan. I think he maybe certainly was feeling the, the second game in, of the week, uh, but again gave us a good platform to build from. Um, so they need some help as well, and that's what I'm, I'll try and do. Just changing the subject slightly, in between the sticks, James McEwen hasn't featured recently in, in goal for the Mariners. Yeah. And Max Crocombe's been in. Um, there's been a bit of speculation, Paul, about, about James McEwen's future right. here in the club. Can you just clarify for the fans, really, what, what, what that position is, as far as the club is concerned? Well, there's no, certainly no issue with myself and James. Get on fantastically well with him. He obviously would like to be playing. Um, you know, there's no more to it than that. Um, I think there is... I'm told at least that these silly rumours out there and I can promise and assure people some are you know, quite frankly ridiculous if, if they're true what I've been told is I can assure like I said they're, they're not true um, you just find yourself out of the team I think prior to, to Max getting his opportunity there were some calls for, for Max to, to have his go and it's like now that he has we then start looking on the other side of it I feel like, you know, as a manager, you can never win. You know, you get asked questions about who's not in the squad, not talk about people that's in the squad. It's just part and parcel of being a football club. I said you can't just have 11 players and you can't just have 16 players. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens moving forward. Clearly, he's been used to playing games of football and would like to continue to do that if, if possible. Um, the door's certainly not closed here. But Max has, has done relatively well. You know, Halifax goal, you no know, getting away from it, he would have liked to have done better with. Um, so we'll see how, how, how the situation unravels the same realistically as, as anyone else out there. If another club came in, though, Paul, for, for, 
for James? Would, would the club consider enough? That would be a conversation that myself and James would have. Like I said, I've got the utmost respect for him. Um, and again, we can't just be soft on things as a, as a football club, but at the same time, he's been a fantastic servant. He's in his testimonial year. That's kind of, I guess, a little bit um, frustrating in one aspect for him as well. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it if and when there's something to talk about. Well, a good win today, Paul. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.